I'm a prospect. Mm-hmm. I'm looking to implement CRM. I come to you and, and you and I are out on a Friday night and we're talking and I say, Joe, hey, I'm <clears throat> kind of thinking about implementing CRM. What do, you, what do you think I, where do I start? Sure. What do I, what do I do? Tell, where do I start? Yeah. So I think what you need to do first is really evaluate what are our high level goals with the CRM? Right. If, if I don't currently have a CRM in place today, then, you know, why don't I have a CRM? What are some of my my uh, pain points within, let's just say, my sales process? All right. Am I having a hard time forecasting? Do I not know what's in my pipeline? Do we just have, you know, we're spending an abundant amount of money on leads and we have no idea what's happening with them? Do we just have data all over the place? So really honing in and, and zoning in on what your overall goals are with the project, I think is probably the first starting point that uh, that any customer needs to look at. And then from there, you can really start to develop a plan and process around that, right? Determining what are my business requirements? What are the key features I'm looking for? What are my nice to haves? Uh, what partner am I going to utilize to make this a successful uh, platform. What's my budget look like? What does my timeline look like? Um, you know, do I have staff internally that's going to help administer this, develop it? Uh, do I have champions internally? So there's a number of different questions, you know, within that evaluation process that that organizations should be looking at. But I think really zoning in first, what's my business problem? Yeah. I, I think that's really the first key starting point that you have to look at. And, you know, um, and it's not easy. It's not. Because it, that, that, that's, a, I mean, you you mentioned a lot of things. Mm-hmm. What's my goal? Well, is my goal around leads? Is my goal around I got a bunch of data? I got to manage it, right? Where Where's my, am I, am I managing a pipeline? What, right? I need to track my sales. There's a lot of things there. So just defining your goal alone is it's not an easy thing to do. It is. And, you know, I think it's important for organizations, if you don't have um, a clear cut understanding of where your pain points lie or what your potential goals could be, um, you know, that's where collaboration becomes extremely important. You need to have conversations internally to see what other people within your own division or even outside of your division are experiencing. And then you should really start having those conversations with partners and with the solution providers, because you simply don't know what you don't know about the platform. You don't know what it's capable of, what it can do for you. But, you know, having a lot more of those conversations, really taking your time with that evaluation um, is really going to help shed some light in terms of you as a, a prospect learning what the system's capable of and how we can accomplish that goal within the platform. Yeah. Would it be safe to say if you haven't defined some of those things, don't move down the process of implementing this yet? I would. You you don't really want to make more problem. More problem and that large of an investment into a solution without having those items defined because Salesforce and HubSpot are not cheap. Implementing the solutions not really cheap, yeah. you know, so you Plus it causes frustration to people. A hundred percent. Companies saying use it and they're saying, well, for what? Right. Right. I don't even know how. Yep. And you don't want to have a bad experience the first time you go to implement a CRM. So next time that does come up that you're, you're not shying away from the process, right? You're embracing it next time to say, okay, maybe my processes have become stagnant or we've grown out of this system. I've gone through this evaluation before. I know what to expect. Now let me go look at what's new, what's out there, what solutions we can accommodate with our new processes. And yeah. I, I think that's important too. How important is it for a company when they're implementing to be looking long term? too like where am I going like yeah. you mentioned a lot of things they want to look at right now mm-hmm. but is part of the process hey I do want to integrate um, I do want this down the road I do want that down the road I want to add this function now how big of that is part of the process that you should define up front as well yep I don't think every th- every specific detail needs to be clearly defined but you do need to look for long-term growth you need the roadmap Yes. Where am I looking to go as an organization? Right now, let's say I have 50 employees. By this time next year, I'm forecasting to have 100 employees. I want 50%, 50%, 100% growth within my company. I need to make sure I have a system that's set up um, in such a way that can accommodate that growth. And what are the other business applications that I currently have within my ecosystem today that I would like to potentially integrate? So getting those ideas down on paper as you're at the early stages of the implementation and as you're going through it are extremely important 